Welcome back to the Battle of Chancellorsville. Uh, we just finished the third day, where as you can see from the uh, the force meter and from the state of the main map, we have uh, finally pretty strongly victorious on this day. Um, this is a if you if you didn't manage to complete com ruin the uh, Confederate forces on the previous days, uh, this is a good day to do it because the map is finally constrained. Um, and if you move fast, the terrain is favorable to you. What we did is we destroyed the small portion of Lee's Corps that was uh, participating in this uh, phase of the battle, and we completely annihilated Jackson's Corps uh, while still keeping our own guys relatively healthy. And near the end of the battle, I was just stopping my advances, letting guys get uh, condition and supply back, um, while just leaving the rest of the work just a few combined divisions. So there we go, we have a chance to advance. The odds were against us, but we held. We held Chancellorsville. Our brave soldiers are exhausted, but so are those of the enemy. We can now advance and repel the rebels from their defensive positions. You can see, they have nothing left. Nothing at all. Yeah. So again, we'll just check the camp screen real quick. I don't think I lost any officers in this phase. No one else to give promotions to. Oh, there we go. Here's one. see that all of these guys have been getting good experience from this. These Most of these guys are pretty brand new and they'll have graduated to uh, the next phase. These guys, tremendous amount of experience, although of course they've uh, taken a lot of wounds. Same with them. So none of these guys are Close. Just checking, doing some quick checks on these guys. Nope. Okay. The odds were against us, but we held. We held Chancellorsville. Our brave soldiers are exhausted, but so are those of the enemy. We can now advance and repel the rebels from their defensive positions. Can we just see that on the briefing screen? Come on, guys. Lee's army is expecting us behind those woods. His line expands to the northeast, up to this forested area. You can now deploy the best of your units that are still operational and advance to those hills. Clear the roads to claim victory today. You may, of course, not risk more lives and be happy with the stalemate. You decide, General. Uh... Yeah, we get uh, get our full deployment. In fact, we get to choose, amusingly enough, um, how we want to do this. Okay, uh, so we finally get to rearrange our troops a bit. Um, I don't need you. I'm going to say that I don't need you either. I will deploy you. Um, where's my third div? Don't need you. Yeah, I don't need you guys. Instead, we will use 4th Division. These guys are still pretty healthy. I'm just also keeping an eye on condition at this point. don't need them. Just deploy the rest in guns. It's going to be more than enough. So like before, actually, 
We're going to want these guys are going to cross like all the way um, down and around. They do so quickly. Put a couple divisions here, straight up on them. Second core, same as the first. Uh, snipers, gonna take the long way around. Okay, I don't need you. Where is my second division? Or first, no, wait, second division. Okay. There they are. These guys don't have ammo. These guys don't have ammo. Just leave them all piled on top of each other. And now third core. First division is pretty tired. Second division. Where is my third division? Okay, definitely don't deploy these guys. Okay, these guys, they're going to cross this river uh, into these woods, and they're going to pretty much directly take the fight to whoever's there. Same thing down here. Okay. Combine, 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 combine. And combine.
That's just so sad. They like only have cavalry left. They might. Oh, this is just so sad. We just got some random skirmishers left. Okay, sure. And some random ooh, actually don't I don't wanna fight them.
Jack. This is just really sad. I have to wonder whether there we go. I was gonna say I was gonna say I have to wonder whether going into melee with them would be faster. At any rate, uh, so let's see, 42 plus 47, 51, 53, 54,000 casualties uh, inflicted to about 10,000 suffered, 11,000. So that is just about five to one. We will get 20% back from medicine. It's definitely 5 to 1. Um, you can do the math afterwards. Uh, for being slightly outnumbered and for how weird this battle can be, um, that's pretty good. That is not, uh, you know, it's not, it's not 10 to 1, considering that, again, large portions of this could be considered to be on defense. But that's still pretty good. And it's a lot of... Alright, so let's just take a look. Infantry... Um, our units. We had some guys here at the bottom who, uh, <laughs> you don't count, you're captured. Um, we had some units here who, like this guy, got pretty messed up on independent maneuvering, especially as there's some fighting in the wheat fields, which I needed to do to preserve my lines. Um, there's Confederates, all these guys got mauled. Uh, our skirmishers, these guys just took way too much damage because they got, uh, these guys got caught by the cavalry. But they are the ones that I literally just recruited, so the only hardship is losing the sniper rifles. But I had enough to go around, so not the end of the world. These guys did fine. Artillery, nothing really to say here. Um, no real standout units, just a lot of good, good clumping. And cavalry, um, some good performance, I think especially from the range cavalry, getting to, to free shoot at a couple instances. The melee cavalry um, did their job, died, died, for, died for my sins, um, as melee cavalry is wont to, but they, um, they tied up units that were alone, got a little, got some recon, so that's good. Officers, um, so this is the problem with replacing officers mid-battle, especially when they're wounded. They don't show up on the log properly. I did have two or three guys who were either wounded or killed, so we'll see if those show up in the camp screen afterwards. But otherwise, heck of a lot of promotions. Going to have a lot of people to reassign later. Goods. They looks like the enemy's main rifle was the Harper's Ferry 1855, which I don't even have a lot of, so that's going to get um, distributed well. 10 pounder parrots, 10 pounder ordnance, these are, good. These are decent cannon. Uh, looks like nothing. Oh! Some, some of these for the melee cavalry. Eh, we don't really care about that. Yeah, so I get, I get at least 104 of these back. Um, so that's fine. And surprise! Battle of Salem Church. So we will uh, we'll call it here. Um, so this is the side battle that I've talked about before um, that uh, the Fredericksburg force has to fight. So we'll do this next time. Thanks for watching.